Since Wooting released their compact analog rapid trigger keyboard, which back then was a breakthrough product, a lot has changed. The market is now flooded with good and bad analog keyboards, which happily copied the rapid trigger feature. This is why the Wooting ATH is coming in at a weird spot. On one hand, Wooting is known for its good product support, good performance and decent quality when it comes to the cheapest option. On the other hand, close to $250 after tax is a steep price to pay. And in today's video, we'll check whether Wooting still has anything unique to offer and if the money will be well spent. We'll check build quality, but we're also going to check performance and precision of the analog keys. I'll start with build quality. I've ordered the cheapest version of the keyboard with black ABS case and black PBT keycaps. There's also a more premium option available with zinc alloy case, but that raises the price by around 50%. And while I haven't had the chance to try it out myself, I honestly do not think it's worth the price. After all, you're not getting any additional features, just cosmetics and maybe a better sound profile. But for most, the base version will be good enough. It sounds okay as long as you don't compare it to some other, often cheaper, alternatives. So let's do a sound test. Not bad, but in reality the keys sound like they've not been looped at all, they're a bit scratchy. The keyboard is more on the talky side, as the switchblade is made of polycarbonate. The keyboard also uses screw-in stabilizers to reduce rattle. There's two interesting and out of the ordinary things with this keyboard. First are the feet that help you adjust the angle of the keyboard instead of using standard feet, which you can pull out at the bottom to change the height. Wooding uses silicone feet, which are detachable. So the standard config gives you 2.8 degree angle, the first set raises that to 6 degrees and the maximum you can get is 10 degrees. The second thing is the LED bar. This serves two purposes, aesthetic and practical. The second one shows you the mode that you're currently in, which directly refers to onboard memory. Also you get a dedicated button to switch between the modes. The LED light is also nice. Since we have a bright switch plate, the light bounces around and creates a nice aura effect beneath the keycaps. The legends are crisp and easy to read. Overall, I will say I am happy with the build quality and overall feel and look of the keyboard. Of course, for the price you can get much better sounding and better built keyboard, but that's not always the most important thing and this takes me to performance. The 60HE has set up the bar really high in terms of performance, not only for the 80HE but also any other keyboard out there. I've used it as a benchmark to compare other keyboards too and if you watch my channel, you've seen that only in the last year or so were the manufacturers able to catch up in terms of latency. So how does the ATHE look like? Well, I have to say that using my standard method, which involves a 1000 FPS camera, 240Hz monitor and Overwatch 2, the Wooting ATHE in its top performance mode and 8000Hz setting was able to get very close to 20 milliseconds, the best average result I saw so far. It's worth mentioning that this method takes into account the latency of the whole system, so it's possible to get even better or worse results depending on your PC configuration. Still, based on my test, the new Wooting is on average 2 to 3 milliseconds faster than other keyboards. Is it massive? No. Will you notice it? No. Is it worth the premium price point? Absolutely not. The accuracy on this keyboard is also really good. There is a small margin of error, but it's really not something to worry about. And most importantly, the keys do not behave in any weird way, no matter what sensitivity you set. The app is the standard utility app, which allows you to control the RGB and also change the performance settings, polling rate and many other. It's good looking, rather intuitive and keeps your firmware up to date. Oh, and it's browser based. The real question is, is this keyboard worth the asking price of around $250? Well, honestly, I think most of that price is the booting branding nothing else. We already have keyboards from Yunzi or Nufi which allow most of the same functionality for half of the price or less. So unless you're a fan of Wooting or want to make sure you have the best keyboard with very good support over the years and something that just works out of the box, which many of the competitors do as well, there's no point in buying this keyboard. The budget options sometimes aren't built as well or have as many features but they aren't behind in terms of performance and for gaming keyboard it's all that really matters. 